So then you've got the excise taxes are intra, uh, intranational taxes imposed within a government infrastructure rather than international taxes imposed across uh, county borders. So they'll be subject to a particular you know, location typically. A federal excise tax is usually collected from motor fuel, motor fuel sales, airline tickets, tobacco, and other goods and services. Okay, so excise taxes, this section identifies some of the excise taxes you may have to pay and the forms you have to file if you do any of the following. So if you're subject to the excise taxes, then of course you would have to put that into your business model if you're dealing with those types of areas. So manufacture or sell certain products, operate certain kinds of businesses, use various kinds of equipment, facilities, or products, receive payments for certain services. So for more information on excise taxes, you can see publication 510. Obviously this is quite broad right here. If you're subject to excise tax, can't excise me. If you're in an industry that's subject to them, then you want to dive down onto it in more detail. You can take a look at publication 510 on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. We've got the form 720. The federal excise tax is reported on form 720. Quarterly federal excise tax return consists of several broad categories of taxes, including the following. You've got the environmental taxes on the sale or use of ozone depleting chemicals and imported products containing or manufactured with these chemicals. So I'm not, if, if you're older, you might remember the when the ozone was a big uh, environmental problem. It was like the problem for a while and they needed to reduce these ozone producing chemicals and i think that's still in uh place today and they actually did they actually did a pretty good job of it and the ozone seems like it's it's repairing itself so that was a good deal communications and air transportation taxes you've got the fuel taxes you got tax on the first retail sale of heavy trucks trailers uh, and tractors manufacturers taxes on the sale or use of a variety of different articles and tax on indoor tanning services i'm not sure exactly why that is maybe it's because of the the tanning machines have some kind of bad environmental thing i'm not exactly sure but you have that if you have a tanning i'm not a tanning expert apparently you got the form 2290 there is a federal excise tax on the use of certain trucks uh truck tractors and buses on public highways so you can kind of understand that one to some degree if they're trying to say that again a business that is using the highway all the time is using a public good to make money right they're using the highway which was made with tax dollars to make money so it would kind of make sense then that if they were to try to tax them on like fuel or something or trucks or the things that are taking a lot of use of the highway to pay for in essence the maintenance of the highway because they're getting more benefit from it than other people that are never on the highway so the tax applies to vehicles having a taxable gross weight of 55,000 pounds or more report the tax on form 2290 heavy highway vehicle use tax return for more information see the instructions for form 2290 depositing excise taxes so if you have to file a quarterly excise tax return on form 720, you may have to deposit or your excise taxes before the return is due. For details on depositing excise taxes, see the instructions for form 720. You can find those on the IRS website.